You want anything? Starbucks kills 1.6 million trees a year. I am never telling this bitch about my vibrator. I don't want to know how many rubber trees gave the ultimate sacrifice for my pleasure. Oh, I'll tell you. Anyway, oh, you know what? I am a big germaphobe. I have become a restroom ninja. Oh yeah, I can kick open a restroom door, hover three feet over the toilet seat, jump down like Spider-Man, wash my hands, dry my hands, get in and out without ever touching a thing. Germ free. But I'll tell you, if my new iPhone falls in the toilet, I'm diving in. <laughs> I am. And I'll tell you something I hate about restrooms are those cutesy songs, especially here in Dallas. I went to dinner with my husband, and we're leaving, I said, you know what, before we go, let me hit the restroom. The sign's on the door, right? You see them? They're like a cowboy and a cowgirl. You got a donut and a banana. <laughs> I just want to know where to pee, right? So I said, so let me go to bed. I go in, I come out of the store, my husband is standing in front of me, he's back to me. I said, honey, what the hell are you doing in the ladies' room? He said, I'm peeing in a urinal, what are you doing in the men's room? I said, wasn't there like a cat and a chicken on the door? He said, no, it was a cock and a pussy. <laughs> I wonder about a lot of things, you know. I wonder if they teach gynecologists to make small talk. You ever wonder that? Here I am, I'm laying on the table, my eyes are in the air. My doctor says to me, I see you're wearing your hair different. <laughs> And did you know, if you get a hysterectomy, you get everything taken out, you still gotta go to the gynecologist. But now, the small talk echoes. Nice, nice, nice. Weather, 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 weather. It's like a perverted Lou Gehrig speech. Oh, it is. Oh, I gotta tell you something, right? So, I had weight loss surgery, and I lost over a hundred pounds. The only thing is, one thing they don't tell you with all that weight loss surgery is that your skin gets all loose, right? And your tits look like two empty gym socks. <laughs> it gives a whole new meaning to the phrase chick fil A. I had to buy those clips you stick on the end of the toothpaste tube, clip them to the end of my nipple, and roll my tit up and stick it in my bra. Pretty bad when your insurance company takes a look at the photos that the plastic surgeon sends and goes, ah, we better pay for those. <laughs> I know, I know, you're all staring at my tits now. I named them the Blues Brothers, Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Yeah. Uh, my 28-year-old son just moved back home. Oh, yeah, you feeling me? Let me tell you, I'm driving in the car with him the other day, and we passed one of these seedy motels, he says to me, hey, Ma, did you know you could go in there and pay by the hour just to go and have sex? Who would do that? So I told them, someone who's got a 28-year-old son who just moved back home. <laughs> the kid is allergic to everything. He's lactose intolerant. He's allergic to tree nuts. He can't eat red meat. Uh, and I go out of my way and make all these meals that accommodate this kid. He orders food through an app. There's all these apps to get shit into the house. Where's the app to get the kid out? Right? I'll tell you, I wish my husband could use an app, but he can't even use his phone. I sent him a text the other day and I wrote, IDK. He texts back, what the hell is IDK? So I said, I don't know. He texts back, if you don't know, how the hell do I know? You texted me. Then I think I'm being cute. I sent him a text. You're my BFF. He texts back, why are you calling me a big fat fuck? <laughs> that one he gets. Okay. I'm watching TV with him. We're watching the Animal Planet the other day. Saw a show on koalas. Did you know koalas eat for six hours straight? They do nothing but eat for six hours and then they sleep for the other 18 hours. I turned to him on the couch and I said, you think you're 100% Italian? You gotta be at least 85% koala. <laughs> and he never knows what the hell he's watching. So he's watching this show, I said, what are you watching? He goes, I don't know, but it's got that actress we like. 
you know the one with the crazy hair and the wonky eyes? You always plays the dirt bag. I said, you just described half the women at Bucky's. <laughs> and he never gets any sayings right. He screws them all up. We're sitting the other night and he says to me, you know what, funny? We're like two beans in a pot. <laughs> or he'll say, we'll jump off that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> my favorite, the other week, right? I threw out my back. He says to me, why don't you put on Gay Ben? I said, Ben's, ben, uh, Ben's how I threw out my back and he ain't gay. <laughs> and he mixes up words. He never gets the words right. You know, he said to me, we should talk about our will and our final wishes. I said, I don't want to talk about that now. He's like, yeah, but like, what if one day you slip into a coma and you become decapitated? <laughs> I said, you can sell all my hats. Uh, and he'll only take a shower if he thinks we're gonna have sex, right? So now I get horny anytime I smell Irish Spring. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking crazy. Oh my God, I got a new neighbor moved in next door. Walks around naked all day. Shades are off, the lights are off, they can see everything, it's great. My husband says to me, Claudia, for God's sakes, would you stop looking over there? The guy is 90. But I told him, I can't help it. I'm fascinated watching this guy drag his balls across the living room. <laughs> Mostly because my husband's an inch away from being him. Right, he's not all that bad. He really isn't. For our last anniversary, he got us a couple's massage. Isn't that cute? Right. But he's got rules. He will only be massaged by a woman, and I'm not allowed to be massaged by a man. Right? Well, in walks his masseuse. She's five feet tall, five feet wide. She looks like Danny DeVito in Shrek out of Baby. <laughs> Behind her is my masseuse, Giselle Bunch and Lookalike. Right? Yeah. He's worried I'm going to run away with a male masseuse. Next week, Giselle and I are going to Vegas. We booked a couple's massage. I'm Claudia Bonavita. Good night, good life. Let's hear it from Frankie.